Like the pages of a book, the Dolomites and their ravines tell a story that happened 300 million years ago. The raising of the Dolomites from under the sea to the mountain range of the Alps. It is a story that I want to discover with my own eyes and touch with my own hands. Silently, I ascend the wide path until I am surrounded by the vortex of an incredible time machine. The Blätterbach Gorge is a giant kaleidoscope of intriguing trails that the stream has carved into the rock, revealing 40 million years of geological history. The layers contain various marine fossils, while on the surface I find traces of many fossilized species of reptiles, among them the ancestors of the dinosaurs. Upon closer observation of the upper part of the gorge, I recognize different layers in the rocks that vary in color, density, and composition. Each of these layers provides evidence of the many processes that have formed the Dolomites. The Blätterbach Gorge is an open-air book that reveals the geological history of our Earth. At the end of the gorge, I am once more returned to the present. I carefully head for the Weisshorn. The summit seems to stand guard over the gorge, showing me in the distance the gigantic reef landscape that today we call the Dolomites. Almost miraculously, following the elevation of the Alps, erosion almost completely spared the shape of this atoll that millions of years ago bloomed in a tropical sea. Without realizing it, on the second stage of my walk, I crossed the sea floor of an atoll that was created 250 million years ago. This is the Latimar Range, an endless maze of towers and rocky outcrops, the product of erosion. The landscape leads me into a world of legends, such as that of Laurin, the king of a race of dwarves that for centuries populated the imagination of the local inhabitants. The next spectacle is not long in coming, the Karazé Lake. As I sit at the edge of the lake, admiring the Latimar reflected in its waters, I wonder whether the mountain has found its way back to the sea. The third stage of my trek begins on the Carré Pass, which once formed a seabed between two atolls. The fresh, pure morning air accompanies me on the way up and brings me to the foot of the Rotwand, a huge overhanging rock wall, nearly 500 meters in height. Further along the trail, I can admire the edge of a rocky reef formed of shells and other remains of marine organisms. Here are the Pois and Violet Huts. While there is a moving, grandiose performance by the ancient seas, as the Violet Towers try like long needles to pierce the deep blue of the sky. The journey is the reward, and our reward will be reached via a path. We are free to choose which.
here, after a short flat section, I gaze at the Rosena that seem close enough to touch. There, the proud red roof of the Tiersa Alpud hut can be seen up on a broad saddle. I have finally reached the halfway point of my third stage. Lost in thought, I rest and think about the hike that still awaits me through these incredible atolls of a vanished sea.